In this tutorial, we will talk about the second structure prediction in transmembrane protein. In case of transmembrane protein, there could be the two different types. A one type of transmembrane proteins are going to make a channels, while the second type of transmembrane proteins are going to act as a receptor to receive the signal from outside of the cell. The transmembrane proteins which are going to make the channels for the transportation of the material in and out of the cells, they are normally made up of the beta barrels. And it's a very hard to make a second structural prediction about this type of proteins. Well, the second type of transmembrane proteins which are going to make the receptors, they are normally helical proteins. And we have a very good tools for the prediction of uh, these type of the proteins. And one of the very important tool for the prediction of second structure in case of transmembrane helical proteins that is known as TMHMM. The TMHMM stands for transmembrane helical Markov model based uh, uh, tool for, for the prediction of the protein second structure. So to get access of this tool, we will simply click on this link. And when we will click on this link, we will land to the next page, which will be specific for this tool. Now here, in this page, we will copy and paste our protein sequence for which we want to make a second structure prediction. So we will simply copy. And then we will paste our protein sequence here in this box. After pasting our protein sequence in this box, we will simply click on this submit button. And when we will click on this submit button, then after a few moments, we will land to the next page having our results. Here, the results are present in a graphical form and as well as in a tabular textual form. Let's first try to understand the result which are present here in a tabular textual form. Here, you are going to have an idea up for the amino acids which are going to make the alpha helix and the amino acids which are not going to make the alpha helix. For example, here we are going to have an idea that the amino acid number 1 to 76 they are not going to make any transmembrane alpha helix and that is present toward the outside of the cell. While the amino acid number 77 to 99, that is going to make a one alpha helix which is going to cross the membrane. And then from amino acid 100 to triple 1, that is going to make a polypeptide chain which is present inside towards the cytoplasmic side of the cell. And then again, there is going to be a from 112 amino acid to 1. 3, 4 amino acid that's going to make an alpha helix that's going to cross the membrane and this is so on and on. So this one is actually going to link this helix and this helix and so on and on. Now this is a graphical representation of the same results which are present here in, in table above. So here we can see the number of amino acids this is a number of amino acids. There's a probability of their occurrence on the y-axis. So here you can see these red bars and these red bars are letting us know about the helix. And then there are going to be the blue and as well as the pink lines. So this is a pink line. This is a blue line. This is a pink line. And then this is a blue line. So the pink line is letting us know that these amino acids are present toward outside of the cell while these blue lines are letting us know that these amino acids are present toward inside of the cell. So that's how we are going to have an idea about the second structure elements which are present in a transmembrane helical protein. Hope this uh, tutorial will be informative for you. See you next.